It's that time of the month again. Not that one, you purr. Chopstick. Some chopsticks and some chopstick. Some more from chopstick. This is my favorite lip balm. It's called Lip Balm. Hello everyone! Today I wanted to do a favorites video because it is once again the end of the month, which is kind of crazy. I... January? Where'd it go? I am so glad January is over because January is probably one of my least favorite months, like, ever. I'm really happy that it's almost over. I wanted to do my favorites for you because I've been loving quite a few things this month, so let's get started. I only have one makeup favorite for this month, um, which is this NYX felt tip liner in the color black, super black, extra black. And the reason I've been loving this so much is because it makes putting on liquid eyeliner so much easier. It literally is the little pen and it's so much easier than traditional liquid liner because it's not as messy and great for someone who's not super great at putting on liquid eyeliner. The next thing is kind of related to makeup, but it's not actually a makeup product, so I thought I'd put it after the only makeup product in my favorites this month. Coconut oil is fantastic because of a lot of reasons. It is a great makeup remover, it's a great moisturizer, it's a great cuticle oil, it's a great foot oil. It's just a great all-around product in general. But always make sure to get organic coconut oil because you don't want to be putting a bunch of pesticides on your skin. So, for Christmas, I got so many Lush products, and I have really been loving a few of them, so I'm going to share them. The Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. This is so lovely, and it smells like you're on a tropical vacation. It's such a fresh, delicious smell. It's made with, like, lime and vodka and coconuts. It's like your face is on a tropical vacation. I haven't used it on my body, but I know it leaves your face feeling really soft and moisturized. The next thing is, I have it on tissue, it's a little messy, is the Lavender Bubble Bar from Lush. The smell is like the perfect lavender smell. You know how some can be too strong? This one is such a subtle, like refreshing and relaxing scent. And it makes your bath super bubbly, obviously, it's a bubble bar. And turns it kind of a purpley blue color, which totally makes you feel like a mermaid. Next thing is the Vanillary Solid Perfume. And it literally looks like there's little tiny vanilla beans in the perfume. This is just a great little thing to toss in your purse for a little scent. And whenever you, you know, want to smell good or you're out and about and need a little more perfume or whatever. It smells so lovely. It's like um, a really light vanilla smell with really, really warm undertones. Like it's not like any vanilla I've ever smelled before. Now the next is a shower gel and it is the Olive Branch shower gel. And this is the most fresh, relaxing, oh it's just amazing. Here I'm gonna read you the little thing because I feel like they did a really good job with their little description. The Olive Branch Shower Gel. Superbly softening, reassuring shower gel made with Fair for Life olive oil, fresh mandarins, and bergamot oil. Fine leaves for calm skin and a relaxed state of mind. And I just love that because it's so true. Oh my god. Every time I get in the shower, I'm so excited to use this because I just love the way it makes me smell. And it really sticks on you after you get out of the shower, which I also love because then I can just like smell my arm and I smell like the olive branch. And it's amazing. Last of the Lush stuff has got to be my all-time favorite Lush product that I've ever used, like, ever, and it is the Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. And the reason I love this is because it's made with oat milk and chamomile, which are two of my favorite scents ever. I use this right before I go to bed on my hands. I'm putting some of it on right now because it's so nice. Mmm. It's just such a relaxing, calming, it's almost like a nostalgic smell for me because I just, I don't know, it just is. It just smells like home, if that makes any sense. Moving on to random favorites, I guess. These fingerless gloves I got for Christmas and I've been wearing them pretty much every time I go outside because it's freezing and I like these because I can still use my phone and I can still you know, use my camera and I can still do things with my fingers, but my hands are a little bit warmer. Although my fingers still do get kind of cold, which is a little bothersome, but I don't, it's, it's fine. 
I mean, and these are so cute. I just love the look of them. They make me kind of feel like a hobo, but then I've got like a nice coat on, so it kind of, you know, counteracts that. It has just been the coldest winter I've ever experienced in my life, which is why I have this favorite, which is just a big, super soft, cozy red scarf. And I love it for right now because it's so gloomy outside every single day and cold. And this is warm and bright red, so it's like, um, super cozy and keeps me warm but it's also a huge pop of color which I love in these months because I think it's really important to keep color in your life when everything else is super dull and cold it's so cold moving on to food <laughs> it is Yorkshire gold it's like a black English tea and like an English breakfast tea and it just has like these little pouches and I love how it's such minimal packaging literally it's just this big box full of these pouches loose in here which I think is so great because why all the packaging really and this you can only get it from one place so I get it off um, Amazon and this whole box was like $10 and it has 80 tea bags in here which is such a killer deal um, it's caffeinated which I love so I drink it in the morning just got a really lovely flavor Pull it with some little soy milk and um, maybe a little agave nectar. Super tasty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I found these on like a fluke at this place called Grocery Outlet, which is basically where food that's going to be out of date soon goes to, you know, finish its last days. It's like a nursing home for food. These are Coco Runes, which is essentially a macaroon. These have eight ingredients in them. They're vegan, but no added sugar in them. They only have natural sugar in them. And this is my favorite flavor. They had a few flavors like brownie and vanilla maple, but lemon pie is the best one because it really tastes like lemon pie. I've been obsessed with these. So if you can get your hands on these, I don't even know. Ooh, they have a website, mycocoroons.com. I'll link that in the description. My last favorite for today is uh, probably the weirdest one I have, cauliflower. Now, um, before you switch off, cauliflower is really tasty. I've been doing a few different things with it this month, and the first time I cooked cauliflower on my own was actually this month, and I didn't even know it could taste that good. I've never really liked cauliflower before. Of course, organic cauliflower because you should just get all organic produce. It's so much better for you. It tastes so much better as well. But I've just done roasting it with rosemary, olive oil, and salt and pepper in the oven. The thing I like about cauliflower so much is it's super versatile. Like, it doesn't really taste like much, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can make it chicken, you can make it beef, you can do, you can just roast it, you can put it in a stir fry. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with this. I really want to do cauliflower tacos. I feel like that would be really, really good, like as a substitute for textured vegetable protein, because that's not necessarily the best for you. Okay, and that is all of my favorites for this month. I haven't really, I haven't really been getting into too many new products. It was mostly just the Lush stuff that I've been trying out this month, and I still actually have some Lush products that I haven't even tried out, so maybe they'll be in next month's favorites video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up if you did. Share in the comments if you have any favorites this month as well, and um, I will see you next time. Bye! I'm gonna eat one of these. Okay. Oh yeah. I think these are my favorite of the favorites.